bros and people love them so much so do the butterflies Definitely, yes. There are tons of exhibits that go far beyond even the society's pop-ups here. And I mean, as you can see behind me, no two are the same. These are absolutely beautiful. Michaela Kreuzberger and I are getting some good oxygen, I would say, in our work day today. So the communications manager, you've got a lot of things happening with World of Energy, and you like to partner up with these local uh, environmental groups. That's right. So the World of Energy is an energy education center to teach uh, the community and visitors about electricity, how it's made, and a focus on nuclear energy, and we love to partner with um, the community, like the Blue Ridge Orchid Society. Uh, they do a wonderful job, and it's just so great to see all these beautiful orchids and all the expertise that comes with it. And, I mean, talk about the ultimate tag team. You have your exhibits that really focus on how energy works, and you bring these people in who use the natural resources. So what other types of things can they find in the exhibits here? So our exhibits focus on how electricity is made using water, mm -hmm. uh, use, which is essentially a water wheel, right? And we, we have Lake Kiwi and Lake Jokasi, and those all produce electricity for us, which is clean energy. It takes a focus on natural gas, renewable energy, and then also um, Oconee Nuclear Station, which makes carbon-free electricity 24-7. So all of those exhibits focus on um, you know, making sure that the community realizes just how much electricity is made right here in the upstate. Fantastic. And I mean, that really is just the ultimate kind of double blessing gift of obviously coming in to see the orchids and then kind of going straight back there to all the exhibits. So these two vendors are specifically chosen because of their orchid expertise and knowledge, right? Right. So uh, Mark Ranke with Marble Branch Farms out of Walhalla, he is internationally known for what he does. I mean, he is an expert in his field. And then you have Last Chance Orchids with Trace Elliott. He's new, uh, but he is amazing and he has a great story. So they're all here to talk about orchids, to talk about what they know, but they're also here to sell. Oh, all righty, we'll walk home with a little bit of knowledge and maybe some orchids to boot. And uh, my anchor, uh, Margaret, she mentioned the butterfly exhibit. That sounds beautiful. Now, are they active this time of year? So no, our, our butterfly exhibit is out on our back porch, right in between the World of Energy and Oconee Nuclear Station. Mm -hmm. Not right now, but it will start uh, growing and blossoming in maybe a month. Okay. And then it blossoms all year, all summer long and peaks in about October. Perfect. And there are a lot of events that you guys are very excited about this summer, right? Yes, so we do community events for the public. We do kids programming in the summer. Um, we'll host um, activities all year long. Wonderful. Alrighty, well, Definitely got to come back out to see the butterflies, but also take a tour through their different exhibits. I'm learning a ton here, and I mean, hello. Do these match my outfit or what? This oh is just gosh. the best day ever, Margaret. That's a beautiful backdrop. Smell those flowers. Take the time to enjoy those, and we'll check back in with you very soon.